Welcome back to Fixin' to Do It All. As I promised in one of my previous videos, I have got four deep cycle batteries here. I am going to show you something that I have learned about them uh, when having four uh, wired in parallel with each other. Uh, I will share that towards the end of the video. But uh, as I want to point out, I've got my Schumacher battery charger here for 6 volt and 12 volt batteries. Uh, this I did a video on previously as well. Uh, here I've got four batteries. They're all four are of equal. Uh, they're ever start. Purchased them from Walmart. They all have about the same um, amperage hours. But what's most important is that when you're using batteries in parallel with each other for longer battery life, you want to have them all have the same charge. That is the most important. Uh, well, and, and crank output is, is important too. These are all 845s. But having equal battery charge, uh, these will uh, last longer and you'll get the appropriate uh, uh, lifespan of these as, as you're wanting. Okay, so one thing I want to explain is uh, the life of the battery. When I go one month without using one single battery, by itself, uh, I've noticed it get down to about 75% charge, just sitting there, not being used. When I have the two doubled up, uh, wired in parallel with each other, I've seen it last longer. The, the battery juice will last longer. I've seen it as high as 85%. But after this winter, I had all four wired together and after five months of not being used with these wired in parallel they have somehow magically well maybe not magically i'm sure there's a science behind it i hope someone can help me understand this in the comments below but all four of these batteries have held their full 95 percent charge uh, i want to go ahead and show you how i do this I have a total of six of these connection leads. Uh, this is a four gauge wire. I got these at Walmart as well. Uh, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna connect the negatives first. Okay, so I've got the four negatives connected in parallel with each other. Well, one would say that uh, this is in series uh, with what I have right here, but I'm connecting the positives together, and so then this will be in parallel. I'll explain uh, what the series will do. Just be careful when you're connecting up these hot leads that they don't fall out of place and hit the, uh, the ground or the negative over here. Uh, they'll cause a spark. Uh, possible shock. Each of these batteries are 12 volts. By wiring them in parallel like this, they will remain 12 volt. We've just extended the life to four times. Each of these batteries have 122 amp hours times four is 488 amp hours. Okay, so this is having the positives together and then having the negatives together is parallel. Series would be if I were to uh, cross and, and connect the negative to the positive, positive to the negative and so forth. By doing this, we would be quadrupling the voltage could be pretty dangerous with four batteries. A lot of RVers will do it with, with the two so that they can get their 24 volt. I take that back. RVers do not do that <laughs> with these. But RVers will, will use six volt batteries and they'll wire them in series to get their 12 volt. I'm glad I, I caught myself and clarified that. My experience is with one battery by itself uh, you'll lose charge from 95% down to 75% after only one month. 
with only two or with two wired together. I've seen it last longer, uh, about 85% after one month. For some reason, when all four are wired together, it doesn't seem to lose a charge at all. I don't know the science behind it. I hope someone could leave a comment below and help maybe perhaps explain this. Uh, I've looked for some explanation on this on both Google and YouTube, and I haven't been able to find anything. Not saying that there isn't anything out there. I just have not been able to find anything to explain why four of these 12 volt batteries uh, wired in parallel together seem to not lose charge. But as I mentioned previously before the video, I had hooked up my leads from the charger to this battery. And as you can see, I have a 95% reading. Uh, this is for all four. Uh, how this thing knows that the, all four are wired together, I have no idea. It might just be reading one battery. So as what I did was I went ahead and I had to check all four separately to confirm what I believed I was experiencing here. So let me take these all back off. And then I'll take these negatives off, the ground leads. And then we'll just check all four batteries one at a time. Negative goes on first. Same voltage, 12.7. I've got a reading of 95% on this first battery. Negative to positive. Ninety-five percent on the second battery. Negative to positive. 95% on the third battery. Negative to positive. 12.7 volts. 95%. So I'm telling you, all four of these batteries do not need to ha be hooked up over the winter time. No 10 are needed. They seem to piggyback off each other. They seem to equal and EV feed off of each other. I can't explain it, but it, it really does work. All four batteries wired in parallel with each other keep a full charge. And I, I think that's pretty awesome. Where it did not do that with just the two batteries. The two batteries uh, I had before uh, you had to run a tender on them just to keep the full life on them, uh, to keep them the batteries from going bad. Add two more batteries, all four, voila. You've got uh, a, a hold charge of 95% on all batteries. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm sure there's a good scientific uh, reason or explanation behind it. I just don't know. So perhaps someone, someone out there, like I said, could uh, help us figure this out. Uh, please go ahead and like and subscribe this video. We do have more videos coming. Uh, hope to see you soon.